What's up? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. As a lot of you have been following me for three years as I've been on this case, man, since it first started. I know it's a lot of bandwagoners, you know, they hopping on all of a sudden. <laughs> but a lot of you have been following me, you know, for the past three years, even though I've had this channel for a year. I've had a couple other channels that, uh, you know, that are no longer existing. But like I say, every time I just move to the next channel, you know, if, if YouTube decides to delete since YouTube is deleting a lot of my videos, if I wake up one morning and this channel's deleted or gone, like I say, we just move, just move to the next channel. Make sure you subscribe to Zillion Entertainment TV too. Okay, make sure you subscribe to the other channel. Also, all right. Like I say, that's why I'm trying to build websites and platforms outside of YouTube because YouTube, they can, uh, you know, they can regulate or dictate what you say on here. And if they really don't like what you have to say on your channel, they can remove your channel. If they feel like you, they don't want you on their platform, they can get rid of you. And there's nothing I can say and nobody else can say. So then that's why we keep moving to the next channel. Oh, well. But anyway. Anyway, let's get back to Monifa. I'm going to do a lot of talk about Monifa. Okay, I don't want a lot of talking about her. Because she's like the, uh, how can I put it? She's the girl that was the most willing to betray Kanika. Everybody else followed along and played along. Everybody else knew what was going on, but Monifa was the most willing. The most willing. As I watched the video and the guys following her around in the hotel, I know Monifa was the one that they looked to, like, okay, where's Kanika at? Okay, where did y'all drop her off at? Okay, where can we find her? Definitely. I'm like, why are these guys following Monifa? As soon as Monifa came downstairs in the lobby, the guys were about at the elevator. They were, I mean, not the, at the elevator. They were about to head on out to the hotel, and they were looking for Monifa. As soon as Monifa saw them, her and Shemaya, they pointed to the guys, and the guys waited for them to walk up, and then they followed them towards the kitchen area. Okay? It's on my, watch the videos on my channel. Okay? Now, they knew where she was at the whole time. But anyway... This right here, she has the nerve to uh, talk about Kanika's death date and Kanika's dying five days before her birthday. And she talks about Kanika's death date. Death date. <laughs> I've never heard nobody say that about their friend. Oh, my friend's death date. I hear people say my friend died on such and such. I hear people say my homeboy died on. I hear people say my mother died on this day. I never hear nobody say their my friend's death date. Understand where I'm going with this. A lot of you already know where I'm going with this. First of all, death date. That's like a person saying you have a date with death. Because that night was arranged. That's why she says her death date. Because that was her date with death. They planned that. They planned the whole thing. They planned it. They, they planned it. Her death date. I said, what? What do you mean her death date? <laughs> I don't hear people say that. Let, let me know if you, let y'all tell me. If you have a loved one or people you know that died and they say, oh yeah, my mother's death date was, or my homeboy's death date. They ne I never heard nobody say that. I hear people say they died on this specific day. Oh, June 27th is the day they died. Death date. Yeah, I bet it was her death date. A death date that y'all arranged. I bet. Moniva says, Kanika's death date next month. The stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. And that brings me down so bad because why then five days before her birthday? Because, you know, she writes retarded half the time. Five days before her birthday, really. Who cares about your birthday, uh, Monifa? We only cared about the fact that you didn't get Kanika home safe that night. That's that. I don't want to care nothing about your birthday. We don't care about that. Huh? We don't care nothing about that. Why didn't y'all make sure she got home that night? Then she posts another post. My birthday next month. You died literally five days before. I've been in my feelings just crying about everything. I, I really miss you. Yeah, hey, I know you're crying about everything. You're crying about everything you did to her. Everything you allowed to happen to her. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I know you. I know you're crying about everything. You're crying about how everything went down. You, you're, you're crazy about your your narcissistic sociopath behind. You're having all these. Uh, uh, they're unstable creatures emotionally. They're unstable emotionally. She's only crying because of 
of, of feelings of guilt, of a little guilt here and there. They don't feel great guilt. They feel some guilt. Because, listen, sociopaths and narcissists, uh, they are human. Now, come on, they're human. Even though they display unhuman-like characteristics and they have no empathy. But when it comes to them, they have emotion. When it comes to themselves, they have emotion. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you've been in your feelings. I bet you have about everything. Yeah. Of course, I know you had. I know you do. I know you're in your feelings about everything. Everything that, that you're allowed to go down. I bet you did. This is sad, but Kanika's, uh, 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 you know, Kanika's day that, that she passed away is coming up pretty soon. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about this stuff on our channel, the three-year anniversary of the life of Kanika. And um, it's just like, I just can't believe, you know, how, how, you know, how that happened to this girl. Gang stalking and organ trafficking is real. And I've been I've stuck to my guns on my belief of this and all the evidence point to gang stalking and organ trafficking. All the evidence point to that. I'm out of here. Whatever, Monifa. I don't really care what you have to say. You need to just tell what happened or tell how it went down, even though she's probably will never do it. It, it, it would really have to take a, a, a how can I put a miracle? Or divine intervention for this girl to actually, with her narcissistic tendencies and her sociopathic ways, it would take a miracle from God for this girl to actually confess, just break down and just tell it how it is. That's the only way that's going to happen. Kanika, it's three years since Kanika passed away, man, and we all still feel it like it just happened yesterday. I swear, three years is... Man, that, that went by quick. Doesn't even feel like three years because it feel like it still just happened. I'm your boy Zillionaire. Put your thoughts in the comment about this girl talking about Kanika's death date and all this other crazy stuff this girl talks about. She kills me. Man, this, this girl is just full of it, man. I'm out of here.